As Lin ventured deeper into the forest, he encountered dragons and abyss demons charging toward him. Activating his skeleton armor, Lin prepared for battle. The abyss demons, seeing a human ahead, wondered what such a tasty human was doing there. While the dragon warriors, recognizing Lin as the one who had slain their kin, became enraged. Lin found it odd that the demons and dragons seemed so friendly with each other, but he soon realized they were being pursued by a group of monsters. Level 40 soul-devouring insects. Their average strength, spirit, and constitution were 5,000, with agility at 20,000. These insects possessed the ability to devour souls, ignore defenses, and shred physical immunity. Shocked by their capabilities, Lin understood why the demons and dragons were fleeing together. Those soul-devouring insects are small, but they are fast and work in groups. Before they could escape, the insects surrounded them. Only one exit remained, and Lin was guarding it. As the demons and dragons sprinted toward the exit, hoping to escape the territory and be safe, Lin knows that those from a different race cannot be trusted, so he decided not to let them leave. He attacked them with his soul blaze skill. The insects and some of the abyss demons and dragon warriors were hit, their bodies igniting with soul flames. As the soul-devouring insects faltered, some abyss demons and dragon warriors tried to escape. However, they too were struck by Lin's soul blaze spells, their souls burning in green flames, causing them to scream in pain. Seeing Lin's attack, the remaining abyss demons and dragon warriors were too shocked to move. They understood it was Lin causing their suffering with the green flames. The abyss demons cursed, threatening to tear him apart once they escaped. However, they couldn't act as the soul-devouring insects resumed their attack. Opting to escape first and deal with Lin later, the abyss demons tried to flee, but Lin used his slow curse chains to prevent their escape, effectively immobilizing the demons. However, these chains were ineffective against the dragon warriors, who had resistance to curses and easily broke free, shouting for others to get out of their way. As they attempted to break through, they were shocked to find gold-grade skeleton warriors blocking their path. The dragon warriors were stunned, questioning if Lin was a summoner. Despite their confidence, their attacks only pushed them back as they underestimated the skeleton warrior's strength. A dragon warrior warned Lin, stating, Human, those are soul-devouring insects that gnaw on everything. You better read the situation, otherwise, all of us will die here. Meanwhile, more insects approached from behind, causing the abyss demons to panic and plead with Lin, You lunatic human, if we don't escape now, we will all die. Ignoring their pleas, Lin summoned his Thanatos scythe and called forth the undead general who immediately used its legion strengthening skill to buff all skeleton warriors' strength. The battlefield was set for a desperate fight for survival against the relentless swarm of soul-devouring insects. More and more soul-devouring insects began to gather. Seeing Lin's skeleton warriors ready to fight, the abyss demons and dragon warriors started laughing at him. One abyss demon remarked, I thought you were a lunatic, but you are actually a fool. Do you think those summons can defend against those soul-devouring insects? How naive, since you refuse to let us leave, we will drag you to your death with us. Lin ignored their taunts, and at his command, the skeleton warriors charged at the monsters. The abyss demons continued to mock him, saying, Foolish human, you are dead. You may have obstructed us, but you are now fated to die with us. Some soul-devouring insects targeted Lin and came to attack, but they couldn't harm him because his skeleton armor blocked their attacks. Lin used his skeleton fang skill and started killing the soul-devouring insects. For killing a level 40 soul-devouring insect, Lin obtained 200,000 experience points. Lin was surprised to see that there were experience points for killing these insects, although the amount was very little. However, as there were many of them, it wasn't a problem. When the attacks of the soul-devouring insects didn't work on Lin, they tried to attack the skeleton warriors. But before they could deal much damage, the undead general raised its staff and used its legion heal skill on all the skeleton warriors. Lin again used his skeleton fang skill. He didn't have to aim as there were too many soul-devouring insects. System kill notifications were continuously coming non-stop. Lin was obtaining millions of experience points. Seeing Lin easily kill the soul-devouring insects, all the abyss demons and dragon warriors were too shocked, wondering what had just happened. How did he do it? He's just a level 30 human trash. Lin had created a mountain of soul-devouring insect corpses. Then at the right time he used his corpse explosion skill to kill hundreds of abyss demons and dragon warriors in one go. With the huge explosion, many level 44 abyss demons and dragon warriors were killed. Kill notifications were coming non-stop. Lin gained millions of experience points, and along with that, he also gained military merit. Lin was again promoted, and became a 5-star second lieutenant, with another star appearing on his hunter badge. 
Lin didn't stop there and continued using the corpse explosion skill to kill more monsters. Lin was happy as his experience points had greatly increased. However, suddenly the ground started to shake, and a big monster burst out of the ground very fast and came flying toward Lin. This was the level 50 soul-devouring insect king, a territorial lord boss. Its average strength and agility were 40,000, spirit was 30,000, and constitution was 50,000. Its skills included devour souls, second form, soul-shaking screech. It also ignored defense, physical immunity, and had universal shred. The soul-devouring insect king was a hundred times larger than the normal soul-devouring insects in size. Seeing a lord-level boss monster with such high attributes, Lin said, now we have to be serious. When Lin saw many corpses of soul-devouring insects on the ground, he thought this was his chance to kill the boss monster. As the soul-devouring insect king approached, it used its soul-shaking scream skill. This attack released a very loud sound that, with its pressure, pushed all the monsters back. Not only that, but the sound's force also started to break Lin's skeleton warrior's bones. However, this was not a problem, because Lin had the undead general, who used its legion healing skill on the skeleton warriors, healing their broken bones immediately. Lin also felt the pressure of the soul-devouring insect king's soul-shaking scream, and admitted that it truly was a level 50 boss-level monster. After that, the soul-devouring insect king used its devouring skill and started to eat everything. All the monster corpses, rocks, and other things from the ground were sucked up by the soul-devouring insect king. Miles away, when other hunters heard the soul-devouring insect king's screams, they immediately recognized the danger and ran away. Not only humans, but abyss demons were also scared of the soul-devouring insect king, because they knew that soul-devouring insects devour anything they see, and there's nothing they can't eat. While running, an abyss demon told others that there was once a group of over a hundred dragon race professionals who couldn't kill it. He told others to run, otherwise, they would be in trouble. Hearing that, all the abyss demons and dragon warriors ran away from there. Now, to face off against the soul-devouring insect king, Lin was all alone, but Lin was not scared. When Lin saw that the corpses of the soul-devouring insects had all been devoured by the soul-devouring insect king, he wondered if his skeletal fangs could penetrate its defense. Now there was only Lin left, so the soul-devouring insect king targeted him. It reached Lin in the blink of an eye, shocking Lin with its speed, then attacked Lin with its giant legs and destroyed Lin's skeleton armor. Lin was shocked by that, but understood that he needed to constantly replenish his skeletal armor. At this moment, the soul-devouring insect king was in the right spot that Lin wanted it to be. Lin smiled, saying, Finally, it's down. He backed out of the range, and then used the corpse explosion skill on the remaining corpses of abyss demons and dragon warriors. Those corpses exploded. There were too few corpses. But the soul-devouring insect king was directly hit by the corpse explosion. This made it very angry, and it used its soul-devour skill on Lin immediately. Lin's soul came out of his body and started to fly towards the soul-devouring insect king but was stopped by the skeleton armor before reaching the soul-devouring insect king. The connection between Lin's soul and the soul-devouring insect king was broken by the skeleton armor. This again reminded Lin that he needed to constantly replenish his skeletal armor. When soul-devour didn't work on Lin, the soul-devouring insect king tried to use it on the skeleton warriors. Lin told it that it was useless because his skeletons are all undead, and all the skeleton warriors' soul connections were also broken. The soul-devouring insect king became very furious, Screaming loudly, seeing it use soul attacks, Lin retorted that he could do that too, and prepared to use his soul blaze skill. The soul-devouring insect king got hit by Lin's soul blaze, and its head started to burn. The undead general commanded the skeleton warriors to charge at the soul-devouring insect king, and ordered the skeleton mages to attack with magic. Along with soul blaze, the skeleton mages attacked the soul-devouring insect king with their wind tornado and ice arrow spells. The soul-devouring insect king was injured and fell to the ground. Just as it fell, all the skeleton warriors charged at it, but suddenly a bright light started emanating from the soul-devouring insect king's body. Lin was shocked to see that the soul-devouring insect king had transformed into its second form. Its strength increased to 60,000, agility to 25,000, spirit to 10,000, and constitution to 60,000. Lin was stunned to see the soul-devouring insect king's second form. With increased agility, the soul-devouring insect king moved very fast, and captured a skeleton warrior before it could even react. The soul-devouring insect king opened its mouth to eat the skeleton warrior. Lin was surprised and asked what it was planning to do. The soul-devouring insect king ate the skeleton warrior, and Lin received a notification that one skeleton warrior had been eliminated. Again, 
the soul-devouring insect king took two skeleton warriors and devoured them. Lin received another notification that two skeleton warriors had been eliminated. Seeing it devour skeleton warriors, Lin wondered if it was devouring his skeletons to regenerate. Lin took out a spirit recovery potion from his inventory that Bai Shen had given him before and said, Let's see if you can devour them faster, or if I can summon them faster. Lin drank the potion and got ready. When the soul-devouring insect king raised its hand to devour more skeleton warriors, it got attacked by Lin's soul blaze skill. Lin also summoned the battlefield ghost king, who pointed its fingers at the soul-devouring insect king and prepared to use the nihility spell.